If you're planning on making any real amount of horsepower in your car or truck, then you're gonna have to deal with blow-by. And if that's the case, you're gonna need a set of these. And I'm not talking about the valve covers, I'm talking about the breathers and the baffles underneath. Tune into today's video and I'll show you how we built those. I'd like to say thanks for everybody that's been liking the videos lately, subscribing to the channel. Let's keep the ball rolling and I'll keep the content coming. So the first part of this project in putting some breathers in these valve covers is first you have to figure out where to put your breather. Where do they go up here on, well, this blank canvas? Well, I have a head over here that's also ready to go on. I'm gonna also build a baffle wherever I weld on my bung. So I don't think that height is a problem because as we can see, we probably have a half inch of protrusion with my valve springs on there. The rocker arms will add a little bit, not a whole lot. But I think the biggest thing we're gonna deal with is we don't want oil getting direct to where our breather goes, given it is gonna be baffled. Initially, you would think, put it down here, it's out of the way, but actually, you've got your push rods coming out here, and your push rods are pumping oil up into the valve covers. That's how everything gets oiled up here. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna aim for between one of these sets of valve springs. I think a good choice would be, I'm gonna put my breathers right here on the back of each head. I think that's the place that's gonna have the less crap Again, I don't have a motor and I don't have all my turbo kit and all the other BS that goes on there, in there. But I think it's a safe bet. We're gonna put our breather, well, in the car. This is gonna be the back of the valve cover and we wanna put it up on the low side of the head because the head will live in the car at an angle, as we all know. And I think we're gonna put that breather right there. So without further ado, we're... Oh, well, all this junk in the way, I don't have a real good way of getting in there and deburring. So we're gonna use the chainsaw file again. I'm gonna guess most guys have one laying around the garage. So I have some old scraps laying around from some previous projects and I think it's gonna work out just fine for what I wanna do here. So I've got my hole there where my fitting's gonna go on the other side and I need some kind of baffle plate to sit right over here. I've got some old plates with some holes drilled in them. And what I think I'm gonna do, don't mind that line, is I'm gonna cut this guy off and leave just a bit of this half moon here. And then I'm gonna leave that guy up against the side of the valve cover here. And I'm gonna cut a piece to fit right down in here and trim it in, see what I gotta do. And just leave that guy up at a little bit of an angle. Because what we don't want is we don't want oil to have a direct flow just like I covered in my last video about building my catch can. You want a way for the vapor to get out, the, va the oil to not directly get out. But cut and we'll see how it fits so the plan is to have them sit in there just like this like I was saying where these little half moon cutouts are that's gonna be the lowest point of the head as you can see from the end there's not a lot of air gap so there's not gonna be a lot of room for oil to slosh and get up in here and then straight across from that will be our AN fitting so let's get to welding. We're gonna make sure that there's plenty of room for the hand fitting to go through. If 
Plenty flow. So, tag it up a little better. set on our amp on while we're here. And we got a whole valve cover. Got our AN fitting on. We got our baffle in. One more pretty important part to build a bunch of power with my LS powered Mustang. Anyways, 